Yeah, good, good morning, guys. Welcome to Green Zone, our programming hub. This morning, we will learn how to use artisan commands to achieve automation. We're gonna use artisan command with units cron jobs to schedule tasks and also achieve certain automations that we wish to um, implement in our application. So let's go into our code. We're going to work purely from the code. We're not going to use the browser to display anything. We're going to use um, the artisan command. To, we will generate artisan commands and we will run it. We will schedule it with Cronjob to see how it works. And also, we will be tailing our logs to check if our command is actually running. So, for the purpose of the tutorial, um, we will not be using any um, Windows environment. It's purely based on Mac or Linux. Yeah. So, if you have a Linux machine, you can try try things out. If you haven't using a Mac to um, um, a MacBook, you can also try some of these things out. So, let's go into our code. Um, so let's explore the file directory. So the moment you generate an artisan command, which you will learn how to generate one, the file will be generated in app console commands. You can see I have an example of a command here. You can say push online. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is an example of um, an application, um, an artisan command that was generated some time ago so the moment you generate a command it comes with a signature push online so this is a sample signature that we use a command name so if you go to your console sorry if you go to your console you can type php artisan push online open the following link following link in your browser yeah so it will run so the moment you run it will come to this handle and execute whatever command that is here so it went through all the process executed the necessary command and generated this in the console this enter verification code yeah so that's how artisan commands works we are going to generate our own artisan commands so let's try our hands out on our command so um the syntax is simple is php artisan let me just close this one is php artisan make command so you, you can give it any name let me call mine um info logger info logger so php artisan make command info logger hit enter console command successfully created so now let's go into uh, our console command there it is yeah so it will generate the default using Laravel stops it generated default um, class class name sorry class parameters with a protected signature and the variables and the construct and the handle functions so let's change let's say um let's give it a, a new signature info log so protect function info log so before we move on um someone might ask so what's the purpose of um artisan command what's the purpose of scheduling so let's look at let me just ring my okay so we have um, what artisan commands can help you achieve so for background processing of bulk requests notifications reminders database backups and many more email campaigns system health checks and so many more yes yeah, so for background processing of bulk requests for example if um you are supposed to send an email to 200,000 people it is not a good idea to handle it from the front end view of the application I mean you go to the browser you log in www.youraplicationname.com you um, list all the email addresses that you want to send anymore you click on send then from from there the application will be running f for each or um, so for each of the email is trying to send um, a notification to them if you don't have proper um, um, server-side configuration or 
um, web server configuration it might time out in most of the cases it throws an error if you're using nginx you see something like um gateway error 542 those, those kind of things you're using zamp or apache whatever you be getting like a kind of error that system has timed out so it's advisable to schedule such bulk activities from the back end so the application can be running fine no browser or user interference to be so to take advantage of the os resources and process all the requests for you very good so that's a with the bulk processing uh, background processing of bulk requests and have notifications to yeah so for example user subscribes to uh, maybe a particular package on your platform and you're supposed to renew after some months or after some weeks upon exp expiry um, you can manually be checking every now and then so you just schedule a command that for each of the subscribers you check the expiry date if it's um, seven um, seven days to expire we send them we automatically trigger a notification here so the same thing applies to reminders and so when you have database backups and many more so this can also be achieved when you are using a bash or shell script to backup from the mysql point of view but the application also can help you do some backups it depends on how you implement your automations here so the backing of the application will be based um, or be handled from the artisan command point of view and uh, to back up for that specific application so if you have an application like maybe our form application or information logger application has a database size of like 6 gig right and you don't want to um, mess around with mysql configurations or unix or linux configurations you just do everything inside the application and if anything goes wrong you can trigger an sms upon failure and have your email campaigns as i stated earlier so system health checks so there's a way you can schedule artisan commands to check the health of the system to be clearing cars to be clearing logs especially when you're using supervisor to um to uh, to, to to process certain requests you know supervisor uh, maybe um in our upcoming tutorials you teach them you learn how to use um supervisors on unix systems you get it so if you're using supervisor to run a design commands if you're not it's one thirty. the supervisor will be running um a command more than once because the supervisor is very fast and runs every second or so yeah so if you if you use laravel mutex it's last in um prevent overlapping if you're not careful um the system will halt you get it so you need an artisan command to help you to be clearing those caches so that the system can keep on running so then so this is uh, yeah how many lists are you one two three four five six seven, seven yeah so you have six items here and you can do so many more depending on the ap application you are building what you want to achieve yeah so having now explained that now let's go to our info logger artisan command so php artisan info log command description do we need to set okay for login custom information login custom information um yeah so we come to php artisan handle so what kind of information do we want to log we will, let's try and log the current time and um let's say anything <laughs> let's log the current yes let's just log the current time um so we can see um so we can see schedule so we just call the schedule um let's see um, let's, let's use call let's call current time set a variable let's use php carbon yeah so php carbon is a it's a package that allows you to manipulate uh um, should i say manipulate time not really manipulate time but you're able to get a time you can add more days so let's do example okay you let's move forward we will we'll do that so we have a login so let's say this info before that let, let's add a string hello 
it is when you bring the carbon you can see now we will pass in your string here so hello is 12 o'clock do i need this let me just remove this it doesn't change anything though ah. so we're just logging something so now let's in order to run this command this is the signature info log so let's see what it will print to the console php artisan info log hello it is 25 17 139 that's almost 133 now so that's the current time yeah so now let's try and manipulate this time here by adding and subtracting some days to it um so let's see sorry so say string string the main string string a and string b so let's say it is um well, well can we pass okay i think we can it is Let's see if we can add a day. Add this. This is 17. So let's add three days to become 20th. So um, we are just manipulating the time. That's not the purpose of this tutorial, but we can learn something from this. So let's do the same for. Let's, should we add this? Let's add this. Um, let me bring my curly braces good intelligence and let's see let's add a decade <laughs> um add decades five years then for the first one let's do let's add another one string c we should just do a subtraction string c sub sub days three days okay so we're going to have so string A, I'll come here, string B, sorry, string B, and you can have string C. All of this should work. So let's see, PHP has a new for lock. Yeah. Very good. So the timestamp. Right, the time the hour minute second is the same but the date here differs so we have um 20 20 05 17 and we have 20 70. so we added five decades here so that's 50 years 20 70 right then we have um 20 70 20 so that's string C, that's string B, which is um carbon add days three. Okay, okay. So that's it. So the moment you add a decade, it automatically sets um the current time to a particular time as in, in the future. So every subsequent day that you call again, that same function will be will be like an increment of that. So after setting the decade here, it affected all the other timestamps. So yeah, so string C was hello. I added three days. We subtracted three days from string B. So string B was five twenty. That in three days become five seventeen. Very good. Twenty seventy. Yeah. So this is how we we generate an artisan command. How we work around and just play with with it. Now, but um. After doing this, it will not run automatically unless you come and run the this command page where there's an info log. But we want the command to run on its own without touching it. In order to achieve that, we will come to kernel.php. So in this kernel.php, we will just call our our um our artisan command here, and this is how we call it. I think after generating when you clone a larva project from scratch. Um, when you clone a Laravel project, automatically gives you some default um, schedule with PHP Artisan Inspire. So let's do this. So let's schedule our command. Schedule command. 
What's the name of the command? Um, I think you can either put the command name as push. Uh, sorry, um, info log, or or you can you can call the class info logger class. Still, it still works the same way. Then we say we want it to run every minute. So every minute. So um, so we have several options here. We have a uh, Let's see. That's why it's good to use PHP Storm. We have a pen output too. So you have every minute, every minute, every fifteen minutes, every five minutes, every ten minutes, every thirteen minutes. You have the prevent overlapping, even in maintenance mode. Yeah. So we're gonna use every minute. So not only that, you can also have um daily. So daily to run every day at midnight. So we have um daily at if you want to run every day at 3 p.m. Just specify the time. Maybe let's say the time is 3 30. 3 so at every any time 3 30 it'll run. Yeah, and we have other ones. Mm, let's see. Daily. You can specify the number the days that you want it to run. How it can run specify Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And so on so we will stick with every minute so I'll leave you to go and explore every minute then you can now append output we will choose to append the output so that in case the command does not run when you are maybe as a systems engineer or as a head of engineering you'll be monitoring your system or as a as, a, as someone in charge of applications you want to make sure that the application is running well um, so we have um, append output. So we will now save. So here is a after the command is done running, the output of the command is supposed to log to a file, so that when we are telling our logs, we can check the last time the command ran. So um, we will save it at the storage storage path, right? So we say logs slash. And let's give it a log name. Mm -hmm info dot log info dot log right that's good now I'm sorry info dot log yeah so that's it so we can also add an extra so with this it will run let's see if we can add something else now you can see on failure if the command should fail what happens oh command should fail what happens then you can see send email but we'll not be doing that now yeah you can do that on your own so on fail what you can trigger an email or or even send email or sms you can send an email or sms to notify you that hey your command did not run yeah and there's also another feature where you can email outputs so email output on failure if the it fails email output on failure yeah other several options um email output when it, it runs it should send that yeah, the output to a particular email then you can now specify your email address and let's see what it picks again only if output exists several several options that you can pass yeah you get it mm. so so let's let me just clean i will not use it for today maybe some other time in another tutorial yeah so we have our info that log ready to run so let's run so let's see php at zan all right now if you want you, you can schedule more commands here if you have plenty you can schedule of the, all of them here but how do we ensure that each of these commands running you, just in case they were different commands how do we ensure that all the all of them run so in order to do that we will have to run php artisan schedule run um command php is not defined sorry i made a mistake um so oh I double 
so php artisan schedule run see it run running schedule command artisan info log and it save in the storage logs info so let's check our log see the storage logs so tail mana is f we are using unix you know how to tail logs or you can just do vi or cut so tail minus f info dot log so this is it it is it logged correctly you can cut so the cut will just print the output to the console or you can just do vi vi um info dot log you open it this way as do you want to edit this yeah so that's it now even with this that means we need to come back to application every day to run a single command and that command will tr um, trigger other commands we can we don't have the necessary time or all the time in the world to come and do that so what we will do next is to implement our cron jobs remember um okay and let's now study here remember from the beginning of this tutorial we mentioned that in order to achieve automation you need to have a larval scheduler command already in place then you use your cron job to trigger the command so the cron job you can read on cron jobs right you can read on cron job the cron job is actually a service on um on uh, on systems operating system that allows you to run automated scripts allows you to achieve automation without manual or human intervention yeah, you can say it's an an ai kind of thing yeah so uh I'll, let me open my terminal my mac terminal so this is i'm using mac and um, okay that's my terminal and let me open my cron job so if you are using mac just do cron tab minus u minus root minus e yeah so have a, a command already here now um you can see so let me just remove the hash sign the hash sign simply means it has been commented out uh, yeah so now the star star that you see represent the second minutes a day mm, i think i'm uh, sorry i've forgotten the last star star example yeah but it's simply time so if you read on cron jobs you know that you can have um, slash two can even have slash three slash um four yeah, i think so yeah, i may be wrong anyway i'm just saying it from my head i have to go back and go and revise my cron job um yeah uh, so what we schedule here that means every second every minute every hour every day every week this command should run so that means it will be running every time every sorry every minute not every second every minute every hour um, every day every week every month every year it will be running the command will be running yeah so having now scheduled this right um before we schedule let me let me not save it let me just do oh let me undo okay so we will not schedule yet let me clear my logs so let me just write an empty string into my log file making sure that nothing is in i want to, want to monitor tail minus fm in folder log now we see there's nothing inside okay let me clear come back to let me just remove it okay so a little note here so in order to schedule after doing your asterisk asterisk you have php slash usr local var ww form submit artisan schedule run so or what you see here is supposed to be um the path to your project so what has been highlighted is the path to your project then once that's done you add your artisan schedule run there shouldn't be a space between your slash and the artisan it should be together then add your schedule run very good having now said that now let's see if right. terminal up okay let me see just say okay aha uh -huh. so let's start the time now it's almost a minute right so let's see let me tail minus f let's see if it'll run okay um, let's wait for the next minute if it doesn't run then we know that 
um, there is an error. Let's cross check. As I call schedule run. Okay, everything seems fine here. Mm. Every minute, right? I pen output to. Oh, sorry, huh? I didn't. <laughs> Hold on, man. So tail, I didn't tell it correctly. Tail must have info dot log. Oh, right, it worked. Uh, I I made a mistake. I just typed tail minus f, which is completely wrong. So we have tail minus f info dot log. Let's see. Ha, another one should be coming in by now. There you go. Yet yeah, so that's how you schedule commands in Laravel. So you can schedule a command to do so many things on application, to clear the DB, to send user notification, to clear cache. You can do a whole lot. So you can go to laravel.com and read on um, 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 task scheduling. Right? They will show you. Um, they will show you a certain advanced um, function, um, usability. Uh, I'm sorry, ad advanced ways to 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 use artisan commands. And to achieve several automations and so many more, yeah, you can use certain commands to even do database partitions. Yeah, if you are into system database, if you are a database administrator or database administration, you you, you might need to use and uh, um, cron jobs or automations to handle your database backups and everything, auto import and export. Oh yeah. We just saw another one, so it's been working. So hello, good evening. So um, yeah. So I think we can end our our teaching here, tutorial here, and so another video will be coming up on how to um implement um send maybe sending a bulk request from the background service from the background any email or even sms using an artisan console yeah so i wish you all the best and see you in the next video